Social media paints a pretty picture of marriage, but we all know it's far from the truth. So what does it really take to build a strong and lasting relationship? Hint, it's not about the likes or the shares. Stick around because today we are diving into 10 biblical tips that would help you build a marriage that stands the test of time. Do you know that nearly half of marriages end in divorce, but yours doesn't have to be one of them? Whether you're newlyweds or seasoned partners, maintaining a healthy marriage is a journey that requires faith, wisdom, and lots of love. What I'm about to share with you today can transform your marriage from just surviving to thriving. Let's get right into it. Seek professional help. Now, we all know that prayer is essential, but did you also know that the Bible emphasized the importance of wisdom? Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 says, Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And in all that getting, get understanding. So let's talk about how to apply this wisdom in our marriages. Yes, pray together, but don't just stop there. James in chapter 1 verse 5 tells us to ask for wisdom and sometimes wisdom means seeking professional help. Counselors and therapies are like tools in God's toolbox. They are there to help you build a stronger foundation. Remember, seeking help isn't a sign of weakness, but rather it is a sign of healing and growth. Don't sell your issues. Keep them private. Now, let's talk about privacy. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 reminds us to focus on what is true, honorable, and praiseworthy. So don't just sell your marital issues to the public, especially on social media. If you don't sell your issues, nobody is going to buy them, resell them, or turn them into gossip. Protect your marriage like the precious gift it is. Don't live in isolation. Stay connected. But while privacy is key, isolation isn't. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25 encourages us not to forsake meeting together. Connect with other believers, join a mom or dad's group, join professional associations. Sometimes God speaks to us through the wisdom of others. There's so much to learn when we stay connected. Get the right information. Go beyond social media. Here's the truth. Social media can be a great tool, but it's not a marriage manual. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 15 says, The heart of the discerning acquires knowledge. For the ears of the wise seek it out. So dive into books, attend seminars, and study the word of God together. Equip yourselves with the right information that would help you grow together. Embrace your unique marriage. Don't compare. Every marriage is unique, handcrafted by God. Your journey isn't meant to mirror anyone else's. Remember 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 12 warns us against comparing ourselves to others. Embrace your story and trust that God is writing it perfectly for you. Communicate, don't just talk. When you speak to your partner, make sure you're not just talking, but really communicating. That is listening, understanding, and connecting. Communication is crucial, and that is why Ephesians in chapter 4 verse 29 says, Do not let unwholesome talk come out of your mouth, but only what is helpful for building others up. Reflect and adjust. Take responsibility. If your marriage feels stuck, instead of pointing accusing fingers, ask yourself, what can I do differently? Matthew in chapter 7 verse 5 challenges us to first remove the plank in our own eye. Self-reflection. And taking responsibility can lead to breakthroughs. Don't set unrealistic expectations. Setting too high expectations can set your partner up for failure. Psalm 62 in verse 5 says, My soul wait patiently for God alone, for my expectation is from Him. Lean on God to fulfill your deepest needs and let your partner be human. Forgive in advance. Grace is key. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 encourages us to be kind and compassionate towards one another, forgiving each other just as in Christ God forgave you. Your partner will make mistakes, but offering forgiveness in advance keep your heart soft and your marriage strong. Heal and let go. Give yourself time. Finally, allow yourself to heal from your past wounds. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 says, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. Healing is a process, and it is okay to take your time. Be patient with yourself and your partner. 
Now, here's a little exercise. If you're watching this with your spouse, take a moment right now. Look into each other's eye and share one thing that you love about each other. Go ahead, I'll wait. Feels good, right? Love is a powerful thing. And when we nurture it with faith, wisdom, and grace, it grows stronger every day. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more faith-based wisdom every week. Share this video with another couple who could use some encouragement. And remember, a thriving marriage isn't just about surviving. It's about embracing the journey together with God at the center. You know I'm not going to let you go without sharing the word of God with you. So this week, let's look at his word from the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 14. The NIV says, And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. This verse highlights the importance of love as a foundational virtue that holds everything together in a marriage, emphasizing unity and connection. It's a perfect reminder that love rooted in Christ is what ultimately strengthens and sustains a relationship. Thanks for watching and God bless you.